Hi there, today we're going to go over the Red Mage controller setup, which can be a little tricky for new players, or if you're just starting the job. Now, Red Mage is chef's kiss good, and I really like this controller setup that I have for it, so I'm excited to share it with you all. I also have linked down below where you can check out all my other controller guide setups for all other jobs as well. These are separated into right trigger 1, right trigger 2, left trigger 1, and left trigger 2. The only thing that I keep consistent for my DPS job controller guides are single target to the right and AOE to the left side of the controller. Right trigger 1 we have Ver Stone, Ver Fire, Ver Thunder, and Ver Arrow. Now this may seem weird at first but we spend a lot of time here and or hopefully for the procs. Red Mage has a very interesting job mechanic of dual cast which I personally quite enjoy. These are important abilities and thus I do not like putting them apart because it can get a little dicey later if you lose track of where you're at in your rotation. Right trigger 1 d-pad is our melee combo which I'm going to butcher the name out of but it's repost, zurwasha, and redoublement. We also have jolt here. This may seem weird since jolt is what we have to start out with if we have no procs but honestly I think it actually flows quite nice for my taste. Also, unless you want to double tap R for that second cross hop bar, I like all of my super important abilities on the bottom. Some people have commented and said, well, what happens when you have to move and use the D-pad on either side for abilities? I personally don't struggle with this, but I do see your point. I think it's just really up to you and what type of controller you're using. Right trigger two letters is Fletch, Contra 6, Acceleration, and Magic Barrier. Now you'll see I have these abilities on both sides. Lucky for Red Mage is they do not suffer from any type of button blow as you can see. Doing this allows me to not have to go back and forth on the controller on the right or left side, whether I'm in single target or AoE. Right trigger two D-pad is Lucid Dreaming, Embolden, and Manification. These are kind of the only place for these abilities since we use these pretty early on in the opener for Red Mage. They also have a pretty long cooldown of 110 and 20 seconds so it's not like you're pressing these as often as all these other abilities. Also side note before I forget Red Mage is a great job for a lot of side content because of how flexible it is. We talk about it in my discord quite often for like Eureka and Bojan style content. You can find the discord link down below if you want to join the conversation. Left trigger one letters is our AoE combo and that is Moulinet, Ver Thunder 2, Impact, and Ver Arrow 2. Basically, AoE is super easy and super effective on Red Mage. You can go from Ver Thunder 2 or Ver Arrow 2 to Impact, and then when you have enough gauge, you can spend it all on Moulinet. Left Trigger 1 D-Pad is our gap closers and movement mechanics for Red Mage. We have Reprise, Engagement, Corpse a Corp, and Displacement. Reprise is our instant cast ability to spend gauge on and allow for movement when we need to move out of mechanics and you don't want your DPS to drop. The other three are pretty much our jumping in and out or damage without moving abilities. These are easiest on the D-pad for me personally and are used quite often in your rotation. Left trigger two letters is the copy of the right trigger two letters so we can have all the abilities for AoE trash pulls. Red Mage has the luxury of hot bar space that a lot of other jobs don't. Left Trigger Dude D-Pad is our very special Swift Cast, Ver Rays, and Ver Cure, which made Red Mage pretty much the best all around for a lot of content. I really enjoyed Red Mage and hopefully this controller guide can help you make sense of how to set one up and then adjust to what you like to do personally. Make sure to check out all the other controller setups that you can find in the description box under the controller playlist. And if you have any questions, again, you can just join my Discord and ask me directly. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy Guides content, then you can click here.